about my name. I work for Defenders Protection Initiative, based in Uganda. I'm here to train as an expert in this area on issues related to the anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing regulations with a focus on the NPO sector. We are cognizant of the risk that money laundering and terrorism financing can bring to society, can bring to the sector, which is negative. However, key to it is that measures or approaches taken by government should follow a risk-based approach. Key to the risk-based approach is that government should be able to identify those particular NGOs that are high at risk. Then it monitors them and it sets mitigation measures for them not to be abused by terrorist or wrong element. For this specific uh, uh, particular training, which we are partnering with THRA DC and the East African Institute, with support from again Montbot Foundation, um, we are looking at mitigating the unintended consequences. If these laws are used as this one size fits all, that all the NGOs are vulnerable to the risk of terrorism financing, then the sector is likely to be shrunk. You might have heard or been following trends within the African region where NGO accounts have been frozen, some individual HRDs have been trumped on charges on grounds of terrorism without following the risk-based approach. So we encourage that we need to build collective power, one, to complement government effort in fighting money laundering and terrorism financing, but also for the government not to use these laws uh, against the NGOs. Yeah.